So imagine this that your company has decided to move its massive database to Amazon AWS. So how would you make sure that this entire migration goes smoothly without any downtime? And also think about it, how would you optimize your cloud computing performance without increasing the cost? So these are some of the critical decisions that as an Amazon AWS professionals, you would need to take. So that's why my friends, in this episode, we are going to decode AWS database migration, AWS DNS and AWS cost reduction. And how are we going to understand all these concepts? Well, we will take some very important questions and try to answer them and thereby understand all these important concepts. And not just questions and answers, I will also give you AWS official documentation to validate the answer and also do some self-study. So let's get started with this video. So loads of exciting concepts to be covered today. Let's begin the episode 52 with the question number 336. The question is saying a company has decided to migrate its Oracle database to the AWS cloud. Now the question is asking which of the AWS service can help achieve this without negatively impacting the functionality of the source database. Your options given are option A, AWS Ops Work, option B, AWS Data Migration Services, option C, AWS Server Migration Service, or option D, AWS Application Discovery Service. So here we have four options given and I'm very sure that just by looking at the question, just by understanding what exactly we are trying to do in this uh, business case. So we are basically trying to migrate an on-premises uh, database, let's say an Oracle database to the AWS cloud. So take a wild guess, relate the options given here and you will most definitely will arrive at the right answer and that would be option B, AWS database migration service. So you can read all about the AWS data migration service on this documentation. Here you can read all about the benefits of the same. There are multiple benefits given. And here you can also understand what are the use cases for the same. So for example, the top one is move to the managed databases. And this is very in line with the question as well. But let me very quickly try to summarize what exactly is Amazon database migration service. So this service, my friend, it helps you quickly and safely transfer your databases from one location or the source to the destination, which would be AWS cloud. And not just that, it also lets you build, analyze and transform and reallocate the database and also analytics platform all in one place. And this really saves you money, it saves you time, resources and a lot more. And I can tell you this migration service, it really supports wide range of databases. For example, SQL database, Oracle, which was in the question, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL and a lot more. So all of that databases are supported with this migration services. And yes, in the next episode, we are going to take a very critical concept, principle of least privilege. This critical concept is deeply rooted in the entire AWS infrastructure. So please do join me in the next episode. And as always, my friends, links to the documentation is given in the description box. Moving to the next question, question number 337 that says which security service automatically recognizes and classifies the sensitive data or intellectual property on AWS? Your options are Amazon Guard Duty, option B, Amazon Meshi, or maybe you can say Amazon Meki. It's a confusing pronunciation, but let's say Amazon Meshi. Then we have option C, Amazon Inspector, and lastly option D, AWS Shield. So what according to you is the correct service to use in this uh, case? Well, according to me, it has to be option B, Amazon Meshi. And of course, you can read all about the Amazon Meshi on this documentation. To start with, you can see here automatically this service, it automatically discovers, classifies and protect your data. I hope you can relate this to the question. And then you can read other aspects of the same. But once you also click on this documentation, this logo here, Amazon Meshi, then you will reach to another documentation from AWS itself. Here you can understand why to use Amazon Meshi. There is a very good video given here. You can also watch that video here. And once you have watched this video, you can also understand the benefits of the Amazon Meshi services. But let me very quickly summarize in one or two lines here. So Amazon Meshi, my friends, is the AWS service that automatically recognizes and classifies the sensitive data 
and also the intellectual property so that is where you use this service for and i can also tell you it uses the machine learning to discover classify and protect sensitive data such as personally identifiable information which is pii and the intellectual property so very important service in case my friends you are dealing with the pii's or personal information or maybe you are into the i don't know maybe gdpr so this is the service to watch out for so a really good service when you're dealing with the sensitive data and with that let's jump on to the next question question number 338 that says adjusting compute capacity dynamically to reduce the cost is an implementation of which aws cloud best practice your options given are option a build security in every layer option b parallelize task option c implement elasticity and option d adopt monolithic architecture now friends if you look at the options given here option d adopt monolithic architecture of course it actually is not a benefit it's i would say one of the bad practices so this goes out of the possible answers then we have uh, build security but we are talking about cost here in the question so build security is not of course the answer then we have uh, parallel task but once again we are talking about the cost and not the performance so this goes out of the probable answer and that's why we are left with the option c implement elasticity and that's the correct answer and just so you know my friends elasticity it really allows you to automatically scale resources up or down based on the demand ensuring that you only use and pay for what you need or i can say what you have actually used so wonderful concept elasticity Moving on with the next question, question number three hundred and thirty-nine that says, "What is the advantage of the AWS recommended practice of decoupling application?" Now, friends, how many of you can relate this decoupling application to the last option given in the previous question, that was monolithic architecture? And I would be really happy if some one of you can, you know, sort of join these concepts and tell in the comment section how do these two concepts come together or how exactly are they related but for now let's read the options given option a allows treating an application as a single unit or cohesive unit option b reduces interdependencies so that the failure do not impact other components of the application option c allows updates of any monolithic application quickly and easily and then we have option d allows tracking of any api call made to any aws service now of course option d is ruled out it is talking about the api calls so the race is between the option a b and c and the correct answer is is option b reduces interdependencies so that the failures do not impact other components of the application and that is the essence of decoupling or choosing non monolithic architecture so that's the hint for you how do you relate decoupling with monolithic architecture try it out do some google or ask chat gpt wonderful concept to understand but for now let's move on to the next question very interesting question question number 340 that says which of the following is an aws managed domain name system or dns web service the options given are amazon route 53 then we have amazon neptune option c amazon sage maker and lastly option d amazon lightsail and friends without any doubt the correct answer is option a amazon route 53 and you can read and understand all about the amazon route 53 on this documentation to start with it says a reliable and cost effective way to route end users to internet application so let me summarize this very quickly for you so amazon route 53 my friends it ensures um, reliable and efficient routing of end users to your website by leveraging the globally dispersed domain naming system servers and with the automatic scaling the service dynamically adjusts to the varying workloads and optimizing the performance and also maintaining a seamless user experience so a great service to learn learn here on this documentation how it works there are also some use cases given for this service so in case you are ready to take on the exam series on both microsoft azure and amazon aws then you can surely benefit from our multiple exam series on both of these top cloud providers and not just that we also keep on making videos on free exam vouchers 
insights into the world of generative AI, artificial intelligence and also machine learning. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, press that bell icon and also do not miss to select that all option so that you are receiving all the timely notifications. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.